Namaste guys, welcome back to another video with Beeve Travels. Today we're in Kathmandu, we've been all around Nepal and last night we took a night bus from Pokhara back to the capital Kathmandu where we are now. Today we're going somewhere really special, we're going to the oldest Hindu temple in Nepal I think. What's it called Bobby? It's Pashtu Patina is yes. the name of the place. They have some rituals and traditions that they do on the side of the temple when people die actually so <laughs> yeah this is the oldest temple in nepal oldest hindu temple in nepal and it's something that we've never experienced before kind of li live cremations which i think will be really interesting it's not so much of a tourist attraction this is more so of a cultural, cultural experience. experience that we've never had before but to get there it's about 20 minutes outside of the tamil area and we've got to find a taxi so here we are here we are <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Uh, we want to go to Pashtu Patina. Pashtu Patina. Perfect. How much to go there? Boy and back here one way. Uh, just, what, just one, well, for both, what's the price? 800 one way. 800. Can we do better than that? Can we do 500 one way? Oh, so, so, Monkey Temple there, 400, 500. How much for two ways? Two way. Boy and back? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 1500. Can we do 1200? There and back. Thailand. And we go now. Yeah? 1200. Two way. <laughs> okay, 400. 1400, okay? Nah, uh, sorry. Meet in the middle. 13. 1300. Okay. And we go now. Okay. Okay. Daniel <laughs> Bird. So you can actually use taxi apps in the pool, which do tend to be cheaper, but it's better sometimes just to get a. The convenience of having someone, them right there. Yeah. And it supports, you know, local people doing that kind of thing as well. So it's Exactly. Nice. So that's what we've done. We're on our way now. How long does it take to get there? Uh, 30 minutes. 30 yeah. minutes? Yeah. Ah, okay. With the traffic. Yeah. Okay. So we're leaving now the Tamil area, which is where most tourists stay here in Nepal. It's a really cool area, vibrant, but it is extremely busy. The time now is about half past four. So we've probably got a lot of rush hour traffic as well, which doesn't really help too much. We'll get there. We'll get there, <laughs> traffic, we'll get there. Okay, so we've arrived. One thing oh, I- Oh, we've got some frenzy. We've got some friends. Oh, oh. hello. Some cows. Baby cows. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> One thing I really like in Nepal that I've noticed is that if you get a taxi, they're quite willing to take you both ways. So you can just go and they'll wait for you. They don't mind how long you're going to be and they'll bring you back. That's something that in the UK you don't really have, but I think it's quite useful. It's easy. It's, it it's makes easy. transport very, very yeah, easy. Yeah, it does. Anyway, that was just a side note. We've arrived now. I wasn't expecting this to be like so much going on here. There's some like stores over here where you can buy bits and pieces. There is more going on than I thought, actually. It, from where the taxi driver was going, it looked like he was just dropping us off in a car park, but... Yeah, there's yeah. actually there's actually quite a bit going on. I'm, I'm shocked, but it's nice in a nice way. Just before we get to the temple itself, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. So this is the oldest Hindu temple in Kathmandu. It actually sits on the edge of the Bagmati River, which ultimately flows into the Holy River Ganges eventually. And the whole river, the whole area is for Hindu cremation. So it's all based among reincarnation. Do you know some of the buildings in this area where we're just walking around here and around here actually remind me of Durba Square in Kathmandu? One of the security gents just working here has told us we need to get our ticket, which we knew we had to do anyway. We found it, tourist ticket counter. That's us. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very this much. This is Namaste. This is the temple you are not allowed. Picture yeah, will be here. And you need to start from here. We just want to yeah, walk over the bridge and sit and watch. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I do it here as a guide. If you're interested, I'll give you a good tour around this place. 
just bought our tickets and we've just met up with our tour guide that's going to take us around. So we paid 1,500 rupees for this and he's going to show us around a 45 minute tour and just get us all clued up on this cremation site, this temple. Yeah, you actually, so we did know before, but you can't go to the actual temple as a tourist. That's for Hindus only. We're just going to see now where the cremations take place. Oh wow, so this is the river? This is the river and this is the cremation that's going on. Wow. The person is just top of the wood. We cover to the straw. It's 24 seven, even the midnight, we're going to the cremated. So we have 10 platforms all across this river here and you can see the cremations going on straight away. I think we're gonna have to move. He's popped a <laughs> gas mask on. It's very smoky. But here, people get cremated straight away. It can be literally within an hour of dying. It depends on how long it takes to gather the family. So it's not like at home where it can take days and weeks for a funeral. This happens the same day that the person passed. This is the praying God. You know, it's a unique in the world. Same place we burn the body, same place we have a temple come to pray. This is Hanumana which is the half um, monkey, half mm. human. Yeah, yeah. It's a reincarnation form from the Lord Siva. Mm. Just mentioned this, the Bagmati. I've just commented on how low it was. I thought it was because it's coming towards the end of the dry season here. However, our guide has just told us that when he was a boy, it used to be much higher flowing. He said cleaner. Cleaner water, lots of fish. The only time really when they don't use really this sort of cremation was during COVID. If someone died because of COVID, they had to have a modern cremation service and they weren't allowed to do it like this, which was quite upsetting for those people and for the family because this is a big ritual it's a big part of their religion these umbrellas we can see just along the riverbank i thought they were people watching the cremations on this side but i've been told they are actually priests and do the priests are they involved with the cremations sometimes sometimes okay so we're now going to head off and have a look at the process taken to bless the body before the cremations i'm very glad we've got a guide to come around here because we've already learned so much more than what we've done just from reading okay this is our temple Pashupatinath, name of the temple name of the complex foreign tourists is not allowed to go inside that temple because that is one of the greater hindu pilgrimage destination mm -hmm. one of the temple in front we are here it's called this temple here, it used to be used for human sacrifice, but now they do have animal sacrifices here. So it's about one time a month. Do you say March, April? It's a big festival year, one year big festival. That okay. times lots of people bring a different animal to sacrifice. But every each month, local government provides some duck for sacrifice. And we've just been told as well, there is some skin on the roof from the from the sacrifice. I'm not sure if you guys can see up there, but. So what's the reason for the, to the, the sacrifice? Offering to God, because she's going to kill to the devils and she need a angry niece. So we're learning a lot of the history and the rituals through our guides here, but I think this place has actually got a very interesting like, feel to it. I think it feels quite intense with like all the, the smoke and the emotion because you can see people walking past you sometimes obviously looking very upset and then you you know that they're here for the cremation so there is actually another reason we came here not just for the cremations there is a dance called the arati that happens every evening i think that happens around 6 p.m so we have a little bit of time and we're hoping to witness that and show you guys uh, we've actually got as well one of the holy bulls just on here can i ask what why are they all bulls not because this Not is a really place. We have a cow as well, some cow. Oh, well. cow, okay. If we saw a cow in the UK, they, they would, yeah, yeah, you'd run. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get a cow stood here in the UK. No. <laughs> With the holy, holy bull. <laughs> so, before the bodies are cremated on this side of the river, they come to this side for purifying. The family also put some money, some food, and some water in the mouth which is meant to be good for the reincarnation so you've got all those things with you. There is actually a body over here. I'm not going to film too close, but it's here. This is where it happens. So they get purified over there before going down this way for the cremation. It's just crazy here how you can, everybody is so open to seeing 
the person after they've died. In the UK, you don't see any of this. Even at the funeral, most of the time they're in the coffin, you don't see the deceased. But here, everything's very open and it's it's just very different. It's, it's more, I feel, about learning about life and death rather than death being the end is something to, to learn from. So there is so much more to this place than what I thought there was going to be. For example, our guide has just told us we've got 11 temples on this side of the river. Starting here and going all the way down, all of which are based around fertility. It's, I thought this was literally just the cremation temple, but there's so much more. It's so interesting to learn about all of it. It's so different to what we have back home. So that person that we could see being purified down at the river, down at the river's edge, is really interesting. So this is actually the start of the funeral. So we can see them, they've been purified. We didn't get to witness that, but we can see more and more of the family arriving for the next step. So it's so interesting how open all of this is. And you've got all these people on this side of the river watching it all happen down there. It's actually really interesting because it's weird to like think about because it's like a family here that are mourning but we're watching because we're like watching the ritual and learning and understanding the culture. It's very different to anything I've ever done before. One thing that I think I take for granted when we come to temples is like the meaning behind them. Like every little thing on the building has a meaning. And having a guide has been really useful for this because usually I would just look at these sort of things as a whole but like every individual thing comes from somewhere and something in the religion. So these are the sadhu that we actually saw on the entrance so they're going to pray for Eve now. It's going to be a new experience. Do okay. we get the bread first? Well, that was a really, really incredible experience. What a thing to do with the culture when you're here. This has been absolutely fantastic. Come and see these guys. I feel very optimistic about my life now. I've been blessed by these lovely guys. So this is the, the, the preparation before? Burning raw materials. Wow, burning okay. Raw materials. And the death family come to buy those materials to burn the body. Mm. Like a green bamboo try to transport this and the things to help much more nice fire. All the materials are natural. They come from the earth because that's part of the life cycle and the nature cycle in the Hindu religion. Is it? Expensive to get, but so do, do people have to Depend pay to be cremated? The family here? economy. Someone have a little money, okay, they burn. Someone have a bit more and more money. There's more and more expensive raw materials. Wow, okay. So we are here. As usual, if we do a tour and we're vlogging, people want to know what our YouTube is because they're going to be in it. And this guy said that he wants to show his kids, which I think is really cute. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Danyabad. My name is Kumar Sunar and I'm a local guide from Pashupatinath, which is the place we burn the dead body. Namaste everyone. So we've just finished with our guide now and we're now hoping to catch the Arati, which is the dance. They're closing off one of the bridges though, so we actually wish we still had him We're to tell us where to go. Troubles. He's left us like all of like two minutes. He said on one of the bridges was a good place to watch it, but they're closing the bridges off, so we can't do They've closed this one up here, but the actual dance happens just behind this bridge on here. So I think maybe we'll have to go up on this side. Should we try? Let's try. Let's try. You can immediately tell it's getting busier. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you'll never guess who we've just bumped back into our guide. Yeah. He's gonna show us. <laughs> Sit down here. They decorate already three plates. 
Oh, yeah. Mm. Wow, okay, perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. We were in the right spot, but we thought the dance was like over here, so the bridge blocked it, but actually it's up here, so we will be able to see it perfectly from this little spot. And you can see just how busy it's, really it's getting. We've got everybody going over to the bridge there, making their way across, and it happens just over here where you can see all those people. So we've been told this is the best spot. We'll see whether that plays out, but hopefully. They just started to do a chant and people were joining in, but we have no idea what to say or what it means. There is a really stark contrast from the smoke here coming from the cremation and on this side where the dance is just starting. It is really interesting to be fair. So that cremation happening just over the bridge here, that's actually the one that we could see being prepared before the kind of funeral ceremony took place. So as you said, it's really interesting. You've got the dance happening on the other side of the river and a funeral cremation happening on the other side. It's just such a contrast. It's a big contrast. It's a very big contrast. So we've just finished at the dance. It was really incredible to witness. It was actually very different to what I expected. I thought it was going to be a much more like intimate dance. I didn't realise there was going to be so many people there, um, which is the same with the whole temple actually, because I didn't realise it was a whole complex. I thought it was going to be a much smaller thing. So there you have it guys, that is our experience of Nepal's cremation temple. We have had a really, really cool experience. We would definitely recommend this to anybody around Nepal. We're going to leave now because it's actually a little bit hard to breathe there. I feel like I need to stick my clothes <laughs> yeah, in the wash. They're a bit smoky. A bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> if you did like the video guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Take a look at the rest of our Nepal content as well and you might find something you like. Subscribe to see what we get up to next in Nepal. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.